Hello, my Mahjong friends, and welcome. Welcome to this clinic. Tonight, we're reviewing the basics and maybe something you might have forgotten or a great tip and strategy on the 2024 card. So grab your card, and if you haven't purchased one, go on to the nationalmahjongleague.org and purchase your new Mahjong card. Our friends, we have friends in 46 of the 50 states. We still have four states left. We're missing people from Alaska, Hawaii, New Mexico, and North Dakota. We're looking for our Mahjan friends there. Tonight's topic, we're going to uh, dive deeper into the card. We're still learning the card. And our first step was to learn the categories and what each category entails. Our next step tonight is we're gonna build the hands. Who should make hands? Every Mahjong player from beginner, intermediate, and even our mavens should be building the hands. It's an extremely important um, skill or concept to gather, to understand the hands and to intuitively know what hands um, are being played during the game or what hands you're going to be picking. Game time, you should not be trying to figure out how to build the hand. Yes, you can use the parentheses to help you during the game, but you should already recognize the structure of the hand. Remember, this is a fast-paced game and, you and your fellow Mahjong players and friends will want you to move along. Building hands will help you improve your gameplay. What is make a hand? It is pulling out your card and sitting down with a physical set laid out in front of you and building each individual hand in different ways than maybe what's physically printed on the card if you're able to change um, the way the structure of the hand is with the different numbers. If you don't have a set, you can use a piece of pen and paper and you can write them down and build them that way and try to build them with the different numbers or um, different dragons. Um, however you learn, um, you can use a colored pen that has different colors in it or grab different color pens or use highlighters and try to see the different uh, see the different suits. You also can even, even a better way is on your phone or your laptop or your iPad, you can pull up I Love Mush and learn um, to build the hands by taking the tiles and building them individually. And we're gonna do that here tonight. Um, why make a hand? Using one of the proven methods of tactile learning, and that's part of uh, learning. We talk, we've been talking about that. Um, by touching and doing, you understand and remember things through physical movement. Having a hands-on by touching and moving and building and drawing, you can learn better when you physically um, actively are involved with your set. When do you practice? It's easy to practice in short intervals. If you, um, as I previously mentioned, it's best to practice in short interviews. On, I guess a couple weeks ago, we talked about how to learn. You can sneak practice in when you have a few minutes. Um, anytime you're waiting at a doctor's office for an appointment, when you're waiting for your dinner to be come out of the oven, maybe you're waiting for a friend um, and you're sitting in the car waiting for them to come for lunch, you can start practicing. You can grab your phone, your iPad, and you can also go on, um, make a hand at I Love Mosh. How do I practice? You make the hands in sequential order on I Love Mosh, or you can do random, or you can even pick out one category. Um, be sure to read the parentheses when you're building the hands. They help you make the hands in different ways, or they help you see um, wait, uh, limitations on the hands. Maybe you can't make it a certain way. Where can you find Make a Hand? Well, I'm gonna show you that tonight. So if you hold on, I will show you that. Um, you do need to become a member to try the exercise room, or you can try for a free trial for three weeks using the code CB. This is again, the perfect time of year to join I Love Maj for three weeks will certainly improve your knowledge of the card and get you feeling comfortable. So we're gonna go on to I Love Maj and we're gonna build some hands. Thanking you for being here tonight, for taking some time out and for your 
support. It's thanks. I appreciate it so much that you're here watching these videos. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give me thumbs up for those videos you enjoy and you want to see more of. Please don't forget to share with your friends, fellow enthusiasts of Mahjong, as well as those that you might think need improvement. <laughs> Tell them all about Mahjong class on the YouTube channel. And always thank you for leaving comments below about whether you like the video or not, what you found interesting, or what new topic you would like me to discuss. Thank you for coming to my channel, our channel to learn more about Mahjong. I'm learning right with you as this new card unfolds. You can become a channel member if you wonder why sometimes on my lives there's people with badges. They are channel members. They have donated a small amount monthly that they would love to um, give to me. I would appreciate it. It helps me grow the channel. It helps me um, take more time in learning for myself and you. And there are three levels to choose from. Just click one to join on the main channel page. You just have to click join and you can read all about them. If you're looking to buy a new set, go to All My Mahjong and use the code MAJCLASS for 10% off. Or you can head over to Yellow Mountain and also try Mahjong Class 10 to also get 10% off. You can head to my website by Googling Mahjong Class with two Gs and you can check out everything you can shop for everything in Mahjong and see all the sets and other supplies such as that click pen or um, you can use graph paper. I have that on there you can click on. There's lots of other supplies and helpful tools to help you with your Mahjong game. So be sure to subscribe to I Love Maj for three weeks. Use the code CB. You get a free trial and it's plenty of time to help you get grow and improve your skills on this new card, the 2024 card. Let's head on over to I Love Maj and we're going to practice building the hands. So on I Love Maj, we're going to click um, play, exercise room, and we're going to make the hands. Now tonight, I am going to skip around a little bit. I wanted to pull out some hands that I thought were really important to make. So let's start our exercise. You can change, make sure your card is 2024 and you can change the section on where you want to start. I am gonna start in 2024 and I'm gonna start with this current hand. Often it's seen as three colors rather than two. Remember zeros are suit neutral, so they aren't a suit. So the twos and the two four are two different suits. So this hand is made with two different suits. So you need to make the twos. We're gonna make the twos in cracks and you can just click on it and they pop up. We need three twos. Then we need our white dragon which has a dual purpose it is no longer a dragon here it is a zero we need three and then we need to make our twos and fours in the same suit so we're going to not pick cracks we already use it let's do dots and we need three four twos and four fours and then we're going to click validate And it says it's not enough tiles because I forgot one four. So we're going to try it again. And we're just going to pop in another four. And then validate. We're going to either try again, we could build it differently, or we're going to move on to the next hand. I'm going to go to the next hand. It allows you to jump ahead. I'm going on to this hand, which is line number three. So you can always just kick next hand or previous hand. If you want to go back, you can skip hands. So this hand I want to build because it's very special. First of all, it's three suits and we're going to do two flowers. We can't use jokers in a pair and we can't use jokers in 2024. I'm going to build it in cracks, 20, the zero and the two in four. And now it changes suits because it changes color and we're going to build it with dots. We need four two dots 
Then it changes color again. We already used cracks and dots. Our last suit is bands. And we built it with twos. We're going to validate and it is correct. What we want to do is tr uh, try this hand again. And this time, if you read the parentheses, it says any three suits, any Kongs, any like Kongs, two or four. So this time, build the hand using two flowers. We'll try um, BAMs this time, two, zero, two, four. And instead of twos, we're gonna build it with fours. So let's build it with the four dots first. We need four of them. And then we have, we have BAMs and dots. Let's use the cracks, we have four and you click validate. We're going to move on um, to a different category. I just wanted to cover a few hands tonight, so let's change our section. I wanna pop on over to the quint section, and I just want to point out a few hands that might give you some trouble. And I wanted to pop down to line number two. This is a fabulous hand this year. It can be made over, um, I think it's like 968 ways because you can change the numbers, change the wind. And it's just amazing that this hand um, is on the card this year. It's just crazy. Um, I like to call this hand the any hand, anything goes. So it's any two suits, Quince any two numbers. They do not have to be consecutive. They can be, but they do not. They are not matching. They're non-matching numbers, so any number goes. And then you can have any wind, and you only need a Kong of that wind. So you can make this hand with two jokers at a minimum, but it would be nice, obviously, to have more. This is a great hand for numbers that usually don't work together. For example, one and nine, or two and two and, um, excuse me, not one and nine, one and eight or two and nine. So these are some great hands to have opportunities. So let's build this. Um, let's build it with the number four and we'll do it with cracks. So we need um, a quint of cracks. So we're gonna add a joker and then we need five. And when you add jokers, hug your jokers so you know where they belong. If the joker was on the outside and you exposed it, it could be with the second set. So make sure you hug your jokers, give them a little love. And then we're gonna pick a wind. I'm gonna pick east and I need four. And then we're gonna pick another number. We can't pick the number four in dots or bands. We have to pick a different number, so we have tons of numbers to choose from. We can't pick the crack suit, so let's pick the number one, and we'll do dots. And we need five of them, so we have to add a joker, and then we need two more to make five, and then you're gonna validate this hand. Again, this is the anything hand, anything goes. It's a fabulous hand. I think you will surprise yourself if you play this, and you will definitely wow your friends if you play this. So give it a try, we're gonna validate it. And we did it correctly, you can try again, you can go on to the next hand. We'll do next hand, and I'm gonna skip around again. I'm gonna change my section, and I'm gonna to go to consecutive run. And I wanna show you line number two. So we're gonna do next hand, line number two. What's unique about this, typically we have one suit, we have the second suit, and then we change suits again. Well, we don't change suits again, we go back to the original suit. So it's really only two suits, and the numbers are in one suit, and the dragon is in the opposite. So let's build this with the number, we'll start with the number four, and we're gonna do with dots. So we have two four dots, we need a pung of the next number, which is five. So three five dots. 
Then we need an opposite dragon. So we're not going to use the dot dragon. We can use red or green. I'm going to use green and we need four. And then we have to continue with the run. So we're doing four, five. The next number is six in dots. And then the final number is seven in dots. And you click validate. We're going to go on to the next hand. And I'm going to skip a couple hands. I want to skip to hand number six on consecutive run. This hand is very unique to us in Mahjong. We typically don't have a run of a num of run run of numbers of single numbers. This is called a chow. It's three numbers of the same suit in a run. It doesn't have to be one, two, three, but it does have to be a run of the same suit in the same um, consecutive numbers. What's also unique about this hand is we have a quint of flowers. I can see people making mistakes of putting up a Kong, but we need a quint. This is the only tile that you can have a natural quint in. Typically, we only have four of everything. We could not have a quint of, say, the number seven. We only have four sevens of cracks. So flowers is the only one we could have a natural quint in. This hand, we now will need to make a little chow here. So you could start with any number. So let's do, um, let's start with five. And we're gonna do five cracks. So five, six, seven is our chow. And then we need pungs in like numbers of the next number. So five, six, seven. We have to change suits, so we do eight. We need a chow, and then we need our final suit, which is bands, and we need the number eight, like eights. In this, we could use jokers in our flowers. We can use jokers in our eights, each eight. However, the chow is not a pung. It's three individual numbers, so you cannot use jokers here. We're gonna click validate. Remember, this has five flowers, and we're gonna move on to our next hand. We're gonna jump over to a different category, and we're gonna to jump to one, three, five, seven, nine. In one, three, five, seven, nine, let's go to um, the concealed hand. And so that's your final hand, that's line number seven. And I wanted to make sure you see it's very clear that in these two concealed hands, and we will, we will build both, that it's these numbers only. You cannot change the Kongs. You cannot change, excuse me, the Pungs. You cannot change the Pungs. So you have um, three suits. You make it with three different suits. So let's start this off with the ones. We need three ones, a pair of threes in the same suit, Pung of fives in the same suit. And now we need to change suits and we have to use threes. We cannot change it. So we're in the unused suits are dots and cracks and we need three each. How I'm remembering this hand, it's very unusual. We usually build up. So you probably wanna make these in fives, but I'm remembering it that you take the middle number and that's what the pungs are going to be. You validate, and we can go on to the next hand in that concealed 7B. This is the upper numbers, so you're going to make it with three fives, two sevens, three nines, and now you're going to change suits because the color changes, and we already used dots, so we're going to have to use cracks and then bands, and we need pungs of each. And we're gonna validate. Let's change categories. We're going to move on to the winds and dragons. And we're gonna go to the one that has um, the consecutive run of three numbers, which is line number five. 
So on line number five, you have two options. You can make it with north and south or east and west. You cannot change north and west or south and west. It always has to be north and south and or east or west with west. It has to be a Kong of north and a Kong of south. So let's put in our four norths. You can use jokers here. And then you choose pairs all in the same suit, starting with any number. Let's do the sevens. So we need a pair of sevens, a pair of eights, it's consecutive numbers, and a pair of nines all in the same suit. You're going to end it with a Kong of Souths. And click validate. We're going to do the next hand, which is the same hand, but this time we're making it with a Kong of East. Another run, let's do a fours, fives, pairs, and three, and sixes, excuse me, you're replacing the threes with sixes because you're following four, five, six, and then a Kong of West. You need four of them. And validate. Then we're going to jump on over to line number seven. And this one caught me by surprise because I was so used to 2023 card that it's no longer two numbers um, in a run consecutive. It's now like numbers. So be sure to pay attention to that. Your brain wants to play the old card. I played this hand lots of times last year, so I really liked it. So my brain knows it as consecutive numbers in different suits, but now it's like numbers in different suits. So you need um, three norths, only one east and one west, and then three souths, and then any like number. So you can have the number three, and you need a punk of threes, change suits. We already used cracks, so we have the option of using dots or bands, and we need three. And then you hit validate. We're going to do um, one hand, two hands, we're going to change sections and let's jump to 369. So this is a fabulous tool to use. You can jump around, you can try building the hands different ways for specific ones that maybe you're having problems with. It's such a good visual and textile because you're manipulating the tiles. We're going to jump to line number two. And we're gonna make this hand. Please read the parentheses. It says um, any three suits, you can see that by the color. There's three colors. And then it says like pungs can be threes, sixes, or nines. So let's build it as is with two flowers. Pick any suit. I'm gonna pick um, dots, so three, one three, a pair of sixes, three nines, and then I'm going to change suits and I have to use threes in the unused suits, which is cracks and bands. We're gonna validate. And actually, we're gonna try this hand again. We did it correctly. We're gonna try it again, but this time we're gonna build it with two flowers we're gonna use three crack, two sixes, a pair, a pung of nines, and now we're gonna build it with sixes. So we already used cracks, we have to use dots, and they have to be matching like pungs, so we're gonna use bams and sixes also. We're going to validate, and again, congratulations, I got it right. We're gonna try this hand one more time and this time we're gonna build it with nines. So two flowers, a three, a pair of sixes, a pung of nines. And now instead of these threes, we're gonna use nines. And the suit, we already used bands. Now we have cracks and dots. 
So we're going to use a pung of nines, matching pung of nines, and we're going to validate. We're going to go on to the next hand, and we're going to go right on to line number four. This one is similar in the sense that it says any two suits, but it says pungs three, six, or nine. Now, it does not use the word like. It should have had the word like in there, like pungs, meaning the same. So this can be made with two suits. Let's make it with the number three first, with the matching dragon to the dots. So that's the white. What's really nice about this whole hand is you can use jokers in every grouping. We already used dots. Let's use cracks. And we're going to use the matching dragon, which is red. You validate, and then you move on to the next hand, or you can try it again. Let's try this again, and we're gonna do it with sixes. We're gonna do six bands. We need three, the matching dragon is green. And let's do six dots. We need three, a pung. The matching dragon is white. We need a kong and we validate. Try one more time, and we're gonna do this with um, nines. We're gonna do the nines in cracks, which matching dragon is red, and we're gonna do the, we need a Kong, then we're gonna do the nines, we need a Pung, of nine bands. We could use dots, but we're going to do bands. And then the matching dragon is green. We need a Kong. So after you do this a few times, you're going to get very comfortable with the um, hands on the card. If again, you don't want to do it on here, take out your set. Or if you don't have a set or you don't like the computer, do it on paper. Just keep writing them out in the different ways so that your brain can start seeing that your brain is telling you, no, 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 you have to do it this way, but you're gonna say, stop, there's another way, and then your brain's gonna tell you next time you play, yes, you can build it this way, but don't forget, there's another way to build it. So I think that's enough for now on practicing. Just take a little bit of time and practice. We can go on now and play a little bit. Um, I can play a few games and then we can uh, talk about the hands as we play. So let's um, head on over. So we're going to get out of here. And by the way, it does keep score on how many you get right or wrong. So I did 17 hands and it, um, I got 17 right. And so I got 100. So it's just like being in school. It's nice to get 100. We're going to exit out of here. And we're going to go back up to the top and we're going to play with the bots. And we're going to play advanced and launch game. We're not open to live games, and we're gonna start our game. First Charleston. Sort by suit, and we have no pairs, but we have some fives and eights. Maybe we can play like numbers. We have two, three, four. We can play a run with wins. Well, we could play 2024. Let's do two, three, four. At the very least, we're gonna do two, three, four, maybe five, five with flowers. We need some flowers though. We need five flowers. Remember that hand is five flowers. Let's see what we get. We don't want a six, we don't want an eight, and we don't want a three. And when we pick up a north, but we're doing east and west, I'm gonna get rid of the last three. Doesn't look so good yet. Oh, we got a four. I'm gonna continue. Second Charleston. Maybe we could go to 2024 and start saving the wins. There's two 2024 hands. Oh, there's only one 2024 hand with the wind. It's in 2024. We need two souths, three west. Let's try it. We'll try a 2024 hand. So we're just keeping all the twos and fours and the wins. I think that's it. 
we can't go anymore. We're going to keep these because we don't know what hand we're Courtesy playing. Courtesy pass. Oh, we picked up an ace. Perfect. So let's see. The bottom hand, we need 20, 24. And some wins. We can get rid, or we can play the bottom hand in Wins and Dragons with, like, numbers. Let's just pass one. And we're going to get rid of the eight. eight dot. We're going to wait so, for that push tile that makes us five decide dot. what hand we're going to play. Flower. That's a two. That doesn't make 2024. 20, we're going to get rid of it. Two crack. Three bam. Five bam. Five bam. Either hand. One bam. We can't call for anything. Six crack. We need uh, norts. We need a pair if we're playing in 2024. 20, if we're playing the other hand, we need three norths, one east, one west, and some more fours. Nine dot. Two crack. Can't call for anything. Seven bam. Call. Four dot. East. Oh, west. I don't think we, oh, we can use it in 2024. Oh, let's try 2024 for the fun of it. We need two norths. Three east, two south, three west. Oh, we're almost there. I'm in 2024, the last line. Four crack, seven dot. We need a two Red. dot and a north. Five dot, call, five crack, seven dot, seven crack, six, six bam, six bam. Two bam. So the last two hands, 2024 and Four Wins dot. and Dragons, work very nice together. We don't need the red. Red. One crack. Flower. And the last Eight hand bam. in singles and pairs works very nice together. Three crack. So there's Nine those dot. three concealed hands you can kind of Four play bam. with a little bit. Three dot. Two bam. Three dot. East. Can't call for it. It's a closed hand. Four bam. Six bam. Looking for a Three two bam. dot. No two dots have been discarded. Six bam. Two dot. Oh, there's the first one. Seven crack. Nine bam. Four bam. Four crack. Three bam. East. Oh boy, east are all out. One bam. That's okay, we have jokers. Red. Oh, another white. We don't really need it. We already have our first white. So, six crack. Four bam. Six crack. Nine crack. Two crack. Two bam. Eight bam. Eight dot. West. We already have it. We can't call for it anyway. Nine crack. Eight bam. Oh, jeez. Nine crack. Two. Seven dot. Two crack. So we need a two Joker dot. Joker swap. Four dot. One and crack. The north thing. Somebody Six else crack. Must be playing some wins. One dot. Mahjong. Oh, bummer. This is a nice hand, though. It's coming together. Oh, look at that. Anstead had my north. Go we'll figure. And nobody had my two, so it was still in the deck. Okay, we're going to look at Kurt's hand. He won playing 13579, line number six. He had one three in one suit. It pairs three five in pungs with opposite dragon. Nice, good job, Kurt. Annie played consecutive run 789 with two flowers. She had a little bit of ways to go. Amstead played consecutive run five six line number seven all in in two suits not all in one suit in two suits five six seven eight in two suits so not too bad we were almost there I kind of liked that hand it was good to try because um, every time you try a new hand you're learning it let's start our next game first Charleston sort by suit and we have a pair of sixes, maybe two, four, six, eight. Let's hold on to every two, four, six, eight. Two, 
two, four, six, or eight, not. <laughs> Five, seven, we can hold on to the green. Let's get rid of the one. I hold on to dragons. I play super fast because I'm not even looking at the card. I just Second know Charleston. I need to collect two, four, six, and eight. A one and nine. And now we have to look at the card. There's only one dragon hand and it's opposite. So, I mean, it's the same. Excuse me, line number three. It's the same. So let's get rid of this dragon. Get rid of the dragon, the one and the five. Keep doing two, four, six, eight. A north, a one and a five. Courtesy pass. Uh, we're gonna do, let's see, we can hold on to the white because that's for line number three. We wanna hold on to the four. We probably wanna get rid of this two. So we have three to pass. Two and four have to be always in the same suit, so that's why I got rid of it. Five crack. And nothing. Seven crack. Yep. North. Quite a bit of ways to go. Red. Seven crack. Two bam. Six crack. I'm not calling for anything. I don't Three know crack. what hand I'm playing. One bam. We have no jokers. Nine crack. Green. Nine dot call nine bam. Maybe we can get that joker. East, south, seven dot green. Oh, ones. One, six. We don't have any sevens, but it's potential. One crack, eight crack, seven bam. There's all there's fours and Red. threes, but we don't have that. A two. So here's your two and four. Maybe get rid of this six. Six crack. Nine bam. Six bam. Maybe we play two, four, four, six with eights. Line number two. Nine bam. Be nice if we got some sevens. I'm not gonna hold four that bam. four. Nine crack. Six bam. Four bam. One. one bam, three bam, six bam. We need one and six and seven. Nine we bam. Get some sevens. We don't want this eight. Eight crack, green. There is the closed hand. I guess I could have kept that. There is the closed hand, which is two flowers with opposite eights. Two bam. Just a matter of learning the card. Three bam. A flower. Hmm. What shall we play? We can do one. Oh, let's get rid of this white. So, kind of one like bam. one, and six is seven. If we can get some three sevens, dot, because we have the flowers. Two bam. Oh, Joker. Let's get rid of this eight. Eight bam, Joker swap. One crack. One bam. Four crack. No seven Call five crack. Dots out there. Call three crack. Maybe we could do a joker exchange. Two dot. That might be exciting. Let's do that joker exchange. Joker swap. West. So two what if crack. we play one, six, and seven? We have no sevens. Flower. That's the addition hand. It'd be nice to try. Three crack. South. Six bam. Then we get a five and a four. Two crack. West. No six dot went out yet. Oh, now we're getting a two dot. Let's get rid of this two. Two crack. Nine crack. There's the second hand from the bottom. Four twos, fours, sixes, and four eights. Oh, we have a long way to go. Eight crack. Nine crack. Seven, but it needs to be in dots. It's all one suit. Seven bam. Mahjong. Oh geez, I gave it to him. I had no idea. If he only had one exposure, I would not know. He's playing five seven seven nine, which is the Pung Pung Kong Kong hand, which is the new pattern this year. Line number two in one three five seven nine. Five seven seven nine. Very good. Very nice hand. Only one joker. Good for you, Kurt. 
Annie was playing two flowers and all the fives with the word news. News shows up on the card in two spots this year in any like numbers and the second from the bottom in Winds and Dragons. Very nice. Yancid played Two Flowers 2024 with fours and fours. We built that hand. We've seen it before. Now it's their second time. I'm not sure how many times you have to see something before it registers, but this is our second time seeing it. Let's start our next game. First Charleston. Sort by suit. And we've got nothing. We have six, nine, three, six, maybe three, six, nine. We haven't played that. Four, five, six, seven, seven. Can we get rid of the four? The six. Oh no, that would be for three, six, nine. I'm trying to straddle two categories. Three, six, nine, opposite dragon. We have mixed suits. There's, ah, let's get rid of it. Let's see what we get. Ooh, some sevens. Oh, wow, all one suit. Well, let's give up on the 369. Oh, an eight. So we could play four, five, six, seven, seven, but we don't have the pairs. And it's four, five, six, seven, or five, six, seven, eight. Let's try this. Garbage. We're going to continue. Second Charleston. A west, a two, and we can do six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get rid of this. There you go. There's the eight, nine. Courtesy pass. Oh, geez. Okay, we're gonna do three. And we have a new pair of five, so we could do five, six, seven. So let's do six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine. Oh, isn't there that other, oh, we're missing. I'm thinking of a line number four. It's six, seven, eight. Or you could do seven eight nine seven eight nine I don't want to pass two fives that would be terrible let's do six seven eight nine so I'm gonna get rid of this one five six seven eight nine and the seven so okay on to the game North. Oh, North. Joker. We like jokers. So, so it's Pung, Pung, Kong, Kong, and this is all garbage. Four Bam. Eight Dot. Five Bam. Oh no, we South. get a flower. So we could do seven, eight, and nine. That might work. Five bam. Prioritize your Red. discards. Eight crack. Another flower. Three crack. Green. South. Five five. Dot. Four bam. So that might be a better hand. Six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna go with that. That's line number three. Four dot. Six bam. Yes, that's definitely coming together now. We're able to call for each grouping with no thought. You don't have to Six think about crack. it. It just happens. One bam. A seven comes out and eight you're seven calling. Seven bam. Eight bam. Call. We want to call. Call. Nine bam. Two dot. Eight dot. Flower. We already have our pair. Two bam. Nine bam. Seven Eight and nine. crack. Four crack. Green. Four bam. South. Six dot. 
four crack, one bam. It's kind of a little boring when Two you dot. have a hand that you're kind of already one crack. into. I guess some people would like it. It's less stressful. Three for dot. me, it's a little boring because I'm just sitting Green. here waiting for my seven and nine. Nine crack. Obviously, I'm going to try to play defense Three dot. if anybody puts anything up. Four dot. Green. Nine crack. But I guess you're in it Two for the dot. win. Two bam. Oh, interesting. I wonder Three if everybody's dot. playing the same numbers. Three crack. Not putting anything up. One crack. One crack. One bam. Four dot. Joker swap. Two bam. Oh, somebody got my eight. Five bam. One bam. Four bam. We must all be playing the same Four numbers. Four crack. Nine bam. Two bam. Four dot. Seven dot. One dot. Call. Seven bam. South. Oh, ones. Five crack. Ones is the most unutilized utilized Seven number. Crack. Oh, there it is. We're going to call for it for Kong. Call. And we're waiting Five for crack. our nine dot. Five dot. For a seven crack to exchange. Joker swap. Oh, somebody got seven it already. Bam. Six dot. Where's our nine Four dot? Four crack. Two dot. Nine bam. Oh, I got excited. Her nine. <laughs> nine dot. There it is. Mahjong. Mahjong. Nice. So we have Perch playing Winds and Dragons East and West with a uh, Kong of consecutive numbers in different suits. So we had one, two. We have Annie playing three, six, nine, three, six, nine in one suit with Pungs of sixes. That's almost what we played, but we gave it away. Amsit playing one, three, five, seven, nine with four flowers, line number five. Three times five is 15. He had not much. That's a multiplication hand. There's two of them on the card. They're in one, three, five, seven, nine, line number five. And they're also in two, four, six, eight, line number four. So that was fun. Let's look at the leaderboard. We've played three games and Kurt has won two. Let's play one more. And First we'll Charleston. See how we do? One, three, five, seven. Let's keep all odds and get rid of those wins. We're gonna keep odds. I hate passing two sixes because there's a lot of like numbers this year. Okay, let's sort by suit. One, three, five. Maybe three, three. This is stinky. One, three, five. Oh, seven, nine. Opposite seven, nine. Let's get rid of the three and this nine. Actually, let's get rid of the seven first. I kept the, actually, it's the pair of sevens. Get rid of the nine. I'm keeping it because I need a pair of sevens if I play the top hand. A five. Let's sort this again. One, three, five, I was thinking. Seven, nine, nine. Let's get rid of the last three. Second, Charleston. I'm looking at hand number four. A six, a six, and a green. Oh, that's the second time the sixes are being passed. It's probably not good. A three, a four, and an eight. Courtesy pass. A five. We got the five. We can get rid of this four. We can get rid of the last three. Well, we need another three, and then we're golden for our Flower. pairs. Ignore. A one. We one dot. Need. Five bam. We do have two reds. We could look at the dragons. That's one, three, three, five, four, bam. Don't have. Five dot. We have a long way to go. North. Four, bam. Five dot. Eight dot. Call. One crack. Eight, bam. Oh, perfect. The 
a seven. Nine bam. I think we're Six dot. Playing this hand just for something different to teach ourselves. That's what's great about being on the computer. You can play eight crack. Any hand you want. Six crack. Unless you're trying to be super competitive, but we're playing One against dot. the bots. <laughs> East. South. Nine dot. East. Call. Two dot. A wait. We don't need a wait. So. Two crack. Seven dot. Oh, I need a joker. Can't call it. Four crack. I need a Kong. West. Nine crack. It's better to get rid of this early when he has east. He probably needs west. Two crack. Oh, we can't call it. We need a joker Four crack. for a Kong. I'll hold the five. We don't really need it. Let's see. Do we need these jokers? I mean, these dragons. So if I played line number three, it would be two flowers, the green dragon with one, three, five. I'm going to hold it. The red would be opposite. I don't have that. Let's get rid of the red. Red. Four dot. Seven crack. Two dot. Some jokers. One crack. Four dot. North. Five crack. Oh, there Red. it is. <laughs> so. Some jokers. Five dot. Some love. Five crack. An eight. We don't need an eight. Eight bam. One dot. Four dot. Two crack. A one. We don't need one, one crack. Green. Can't call for it yet. We're not quite ready. I mean, we could, but I don't know if that's the hand we're playing. We're kind of a long Green. way off. Uh, I don't think Two we're playing crack. that anymore. We'll use our joker Four elsewhere. Crack. Four crack. Five crack. Seven crack. We need a three bam. West. Call. Seven bam. Oh, he is playing east and west. Nine bam. Five crack. Seven crack. Three crack. Call. Four bam. Seven crack. Two dot. It's hard to tell when he plays east and west what hand he's playing. We can switch it up, but all the we need have one green dragon left, but we don't have the flower. But we don't need this one for line number three anyway. So I'm gonna get rid of it. One bam south. Eight uh, bam. He's probably not playing um, north, south, east, and west. Four dot. Red. Nine bam. Seven dot. I'm gonna call for the Kong. Call. And hopefully Green. we get another dragon. So, eight crack. Flower. Call. Eight crack. Oh, if it gets back to us, we can do Joker swap. Oh, somebody North. already got it. Eight bam. There's our three we need. Let's get rid of the flower. flower. Six crack. Joker swap. Flower. Oh, bummer. Somebody got it. Six crack. South. One bam. We Flower. need a joker to get that nine. South. Red. Seven bam. Call. Six crack. Joker swap. Oh. Mahjong. Oh boy. That's all right. I'm happy to play that hand. It's the first time I'm playing it, so it was fun to make and my brain's learning it. So, Kurt, congratulations. He won East and West with consecutive numbers in two different suits, line number three. And he was playing consecutive run, Pung Pung Kong Kong, in two different suits, line number seven, six, seven, eight, nine. Ansta was playing four flowers, any like numbers, with all threes. And that's line number one. It's Pungs of threes with a Kong in the middle. Congratulations, guys. Let's show the leaderboard. Um, Kurt won three tonight. Wow, big winner, Kurt. 75 points. I came in second, and everybody else had zero. Wow. So I want to thank you for joining me this evening and playing a few games with me and learning about building the hands. 
next week we'll continue learning the card and we will do i think we're gonna do wordle what hand is that and we're charleston practice so i think it's wordle we're gonna do wordle next week so we'll tune in and we'll talk about wordle and what that's about and it's actually called module so wonder it's similar to wordle except it's module and you're using numbers that's a good puzzle thing for your brain to do each day so hop on on and do the module thank you for joining me and i'll see you next week and we'll discover more about the new card have a good night everyone take care